Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 522. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college assessment link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic 516 to 523. Hey, in this video, we want to see what to do when companies use 30 days for all months. This actually came from a question at YouTube, that, and he, I told him, hey, send this to the Mr. Excel message board, and here's the link. And of course, one of uh, many smart guys over there this time. Barry Houdini gave us a great formula. Now here's the deal. We have a move-in date and the end of the month. If we wanted to just do a straight date formula um, that took into consideration what it was 28, 29, 30, or 31 days, we would just say equals the later date minus the earlier date. That would give us 8. Now the reason why we can do that is because if we get rid of all the formatting on a date, we can see that it's actually a serial number, the number of days since December 31st. 1899. January 1st, 1900 is 1. So when you subtract these two, you get 8. Now in this particular situation, if you want to include the move date, then you have to say plus 1, right? Because when you do subtraction, it's not going to include that particular day. So if you want the, the move in date, you have to add 1. Ah, but that's for months with 28, 29, whatever. If you have a 30 day month, you just say equals and you put the, the number 30 into your formula minus, and we can't just click on this because this is that 4,000 whatever, so we say, hey, give me the day of that. Now, just like with this formula, if the move in date is included, we have to add one. Now, what in the world, um, we don't need to do that because we can plus and minus, we can combine these, we could just say 31. 31, and that'll work just fine. Oh, what's that? That is formatting. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control plus Shift plus Tilde. It's one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts for people who do date and num time format a lot. Control Shift Tilde it applies general number format. 11. Now, what happens if we uh, move in on 131? So we actually want 1, right? So then this formula doesn't. Uh, this formula is working, but uh, not this one right here. Uh, this will not, this is only this formula is only working because we have a, a 31 day month here. That's not going to work when you get to the 28 as we saw. But what do we do here? We really want a one here, so we'll say max of one or whatever the result from this is. And that is just a beautiful, short, efficient formula from uh, Barry Houdini. Now, if I change this to uh, to 20, then we have our dates. By the way, this is end of the month right here. It's just showing us what the end of the month is. Uh, that's the formula for earlier versions. But there you have it, max of 1 or 31 minus day of that date. All right, um, and how would you use that, people? Once you get this 11 days, you're like, well, what are you going to use that for? Well, uh, equals 11 divided by 30, right? That would give us the proportion based on this particular system of the month that this person lived in there. And if there was some amount that was due, you just multiply these. And that would give you uh, the amount that you owed. But that was the whole trick right there is to calculate days in any particular 30-day month. All right, we'll see you next trick.